Dennis, congratulations. That's what you call a statement win. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. <laughs> now, listen, it was a great win. Um, I, listen, I, I, I don't tell lies. I did say it, and I put a big statement on today. Brad Foster never stopped him, Chris Borton never stopped him, which is two great lads, but that, that don't mean nothing. But I stopped him. Dennis Semenna stopped him. And I said I have power in both hands. Um, and I just thought I put on a clinical masterclass performance, as I said, I would. I don't think anyone stopped him before tonight. No, he's never been stopped, and he's a very tough competitor. Yeah, I mean, uh, fair credit to him. I mean, he, 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 you know, he did well, he, especially after the first round. I mean, how he got up from that, I don't know. Very, very tough lad. Uh, all respect to him and his family. Um, all respect to him and his family. And I wish him all the success in the world. And I know you've been wanting that for a while, haven't you? I mean, obviously you've been getting the wins, but I know that you'd like to put on a show and you'd like to finish it with, 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 with a big knockout. And that's what you got tonight. Listen, I'm about the entertainment business. And I love entertaining my fans. I can't thank my fans enough for spending their hard-earned money. You get people working very hard and they're spent buying tickets to watch me fight. I don't think you realise how good that feels. How good that, it's the best feeling in the world. And I can't thank them all enough. I need to know my sponsors. I can't thank them enough because I couldn't do this full-time without them. Wow, how dry all the, all the boys here. And Chellis from uh, Southampton, the main man. And on my team, Big Al Smith, Ian Weaver, Paul Taylor, Eddie Lamb, my strength coach, Lewis, and my nutritionist, Dr. Kyle Evans. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, boxing is a, a team sport. You're the guy that's going in the ring, but you need a good team behind you. Um, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, so, I mean, that body shot to, to set up uh, to set up the win that was very sweet. It was a good shot, wasn't it? Listen, as I said, I'm just I'm a, I'm a bag of tricks. I'm a bag of tricks. I can, as I said, I got power in both hands. I can switch if I want to. I've got to get out of jail card. I've got the lot. But I've got, the, I got, I got, I got um, age on my side as well. I'm 21 years of age. I'm still a baby in the game. All these fellas, 26, 27, 28, they're all in a big, massive hurry. I'm earning earn all the dollar. I'm earning all the dollar. I am. Um, Uncle Frank's paying me well. And I can't, be, I can't be more thankful. Just keep getting the wins, stepping up each time, entertaining the fans. What more could I want? I've got all the time in the world. I'll come for all the belts when I'm, when I'm ready. <laughs> and you got, you got a smile. You got a smile on your face now. You had a smile on the face during the fight. You look like you're actually enjoying it in there. I was enjoying it in there. Listen, no one realised what I've been through for the last 10 to 12 months. I've had a horrific time. Um, I want well, I to dedicate this win to uh, my best friend John Boy Cash and uh, another very good pal of mine, uh, Felix Rooney. But uh, RIP boys. And um, I've had a very tricky, tricky few months. But I've been in camp for 16 weeks. I let all my emotions out in there tonight. I said, I said I'm going to do that. I don't tell lies. Al, can we quickly bring you in? Yeah. Al, this is your, your coach, trainer. One of the coaches. One of the coaches. One of the coaches. Al, just uh, a couple of words on that tonight. You must be proud of him. Yeah, do you know what? I'm beaming with, uh, with, with pride inside, you know. But the one person I said is Dennis deserves the credit because he's always, you know, he always trains hard. Lucky lady, he had a friend pass away. You know, he's, uh, his wife's having a baby. So he's only 21. So it's a lot to, to contend with for a young man. But he trained so hard for this. He took himself around the country. We went up and down to Doncaster. to yeah, like his band patterns all, all around the country. Yeah, you know, and he done it really well. But he, I said to him, make a quiet entrance in a noisy exit, but then never makes a quiet entrance. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I got carried away. So, but yeah, I, I'm so proud of him. He's still got a long way to go. And still them little steps by steps. But incredible. I'm speeding him with pride. We call him Dr. Evil, that's his new name from now on. <laughs> Dr. Evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's his name there, look, look, there, look. Yeah. I, I thought I would look like Brad Pitt's brother, <laughs> Cess Pitt. <laughs> and you mentioned you're having a baby. I didn't know that. Oh, no. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't think I'm having a baby, but uh, I hope not to me. Your, your wife's just, just, just sitting here. How, how did, just very quickly, how do you feel watching your, your husband? I'm proud. I feel extremely proud. But are you a bit nervous when you're watching him there? I'm, I'm nervous for another guy, yeah. <laughs> I, don't him, I don't want too much damage to be done. That's, a, that's the right answer. answer. She makes all the meal preps. Fantastic, yeah. 16 weeks, we've had a day meal <laughs> But you've still got the Harry Bows down there. I, I mean, <laughs> good Lord, you got how many packets have you got? Is he allowed any, Al? He is, but surely they should sponsor him. Surely. Oh, definitely. Be well, we're going to... <laughs> Knocked him out again. Come on, look. <laughs> well, I, I did know in the did notice in the um, in the press comments when you offered him the Harry Bows, he threw it down. I thought, oh my God, that's a that's a dangerous thing to do. That's, that's like literally, that's like punching me in the face. <laughs> you might as well punch me. Punch me. <laughs> well, listen, mate. Uh, it was a great win tonight, and you really entertained the fan, which I know you love to do. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen next. Is Al going to let you have a couple of weeks off? Oh, I need it off. My ear, <laughs> my ear might fall out. <laughs>
No. Oh, oh, oh girl back. <laughs> Do you know what? It's been a, an incredible camp. I've enjoyed it. I'm going to miss him next week because normally in the camp, you can both drive each other mad. Do you know what I mean? But I'm going to miss him next week. He's going on holiday. But he's been incredible to be around. 16 weeks, we've had fun. And that's, you know, it's a tough enough sport as it is. And it's a dangerous sport. We've had great fun in the camp. So, you know, you know I will miss him next week. Brilliant. Well, enjoy your holiday, mate. And, um, yeah, we'll see you when you come back. And what, what's next? What, what, what's next by the end of the year? No, but it'll step up again. Remember, Frank puts in front of me. As I said, I'm all about the entertainment business. I love entertaining. I love knocking people out. I'm the Conor McGregor of boxing. That's what I'm going to be. Dennis the Menace. Best in the business. Number one. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Brilliant.